uh, here is a point. There is a subject in Islam that is called uh, al-fuduli, yes. In this case, who does something that was not asked from him, even if that thing was useful uh, to the owner of a property or a vehicle, you know, uh, then obviously whatever profit will be collected and will be given to the owner of the thing. And his action will be approved or disapproved by uh, the owner. If somebody sold the property without the permit of its owner, then in this case, al-fuduli, uh, yes. In this case, the person uh, would not be having an access to execute his plan unless if the actual owner approved that. So here we have a case of an agent, but meanwhile he extended his agency to be a fuduli. He was approved to sell a property for that much money. So, and he would collect his uh, uh, share or his uh, uh, profit uh, of this transaction. And there, instead of selling it, he rented it. So I would say if he had bought the property himself for himself, then he is able to dispense it whichever way he likes, if he wants to rent it, if he wants to resell it. As long as the owner said, this is how much he want, then it is permissible. But sometimes the owner is unaware of the market value and it is the duty of the agent to explain to the owner that there is a gharar, there is a confusion and some sort of deception. In this case, if the owner is unaware of the market value and the current prices, so the case will be presented before, obviously if there is an Islamic court which will judge of unvalidating any contract, returning the property to the owner, to dispense it whichever way he likes, whether he wants to sell it or to rent it. So in order to judge a case like that, we need to know what was the intention of the owner. What access, what kind of access that he gave the agent. He said, just give me $100,000 and do whatever you want to do with it. In this case, this transaction is 100% valid. Sometimes the owner of a property says, I want that much money. And he's aware of the market price. And he gives it to an agent or to a wakil, or a representative, or to a lawyer. So if he gives him that money, whether he buys it for himself, or he sells it to others, that is perfectly valid. Unless if there is a state of gharar, and the seller, or the owner, was deceived, does not know the market value, or uh, there is some sort of confusion in the contract, then we have to undo every uh, transaction have taken place, and it will be contingent on the approval of the owner of the property.